my film before, so it would be nice if maybe I no dynamic. I got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems I solve them. I run through the money, the pressure be calling. Left on my blessings, I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is back. Tell me I'm garbage. I'm going through something. That's why I ain't calling. Phone and progression is all that I wanted. The phone and affection, I summon and dub it. Cause What is going on family? I am tired today. I only had a couple hours sleep because I was out late last night at the university just getting some work done. So I slept like three hours, but I still weighed in today and it was 192.2 pounds. Super freaking high weigh in. Um, but you know what? I'm not alarmed because I had a bunch of food just before I went to bed. So since I only slept three hours, I know the weigh-in's gonna be super high and my food volume's gonna be super high because when I got home, I had a gigantic smoothie, I had a kimchi bowl, I had like a protein shake, and then my recharge because I forgot to take it after my workout, which I did late last night as well. But I'm actually off to my sleep apnea appointment right now. It's kind of ironic because I barely slept and something that I do need to improve, but I'm just keeping it 100 with you guys, keeping it real so you guys can understand that there is such thing as weight fluctuation. You don't want to be alarmed when you do have those high days if everything else lines up and it makes sense and all that type of stuff. But anyways, sit back, relax, and I hope you guys enjoy the vlog today. So we're actually here in Walmart because I want to get a notebook to track my progress. I just like making sure that I'm actually progressively overloading, making sure I'm actually making progress, that type of thing. But I wanna bring something physical because I don't pay attention to things, I don't remember things as much when I just type it in my phone, so I need to write something physical in there. Look what we got. Package, 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 package. Gotta keep the camera moving so you guys can't see my address. <laughs> Hi, buddy. What's up? <laughs> so we're here at the Ardmore with Asmar, a small little place here in Halifax, Nova Scotia. And some of the smallest little places that I travel to are some of the best. And uh, quality, good price, good value. So we're going to smash this before we head to work. And then we're going to hit the gym after. So. We just got back to the place here. Bae's doing her makeup, getting all pretty, because I think she's doing a video right now. As far as behind the camera, we're about to hit this workout. So we're about to hit that pre-workout. You guys already know I'm on Legion Pulse. Um, a lot of citrulline malate, pretty good amount of caffeine. So I'm gonna be feeling really good. But you guys already know I am hitting this off season with a purpose. I wanna make sure I look the best on stage and that means I need to bring up my weak points. I need to work on my proportions. I don't wanna go into the gym and just go in there like a meathead and a caveman and keep lifting weights. I wanna go in there with a purpose, make sure every rep, every uh, set, every single exercise is there for a reason and I want to improve my body. So you guys already know I need to improve my chest. So let's go over some weak point training so you guys can implement this and I'll hit you guys with a voiceover starting right now. Welcome back to another voiceover family. I'll be overlaying my workout from my men's physique chest specialization program, which you can download for free in the link in the description below. And today I'll be talking about how you can improve any of your weak points and how you can implement them into your training regimen. So first we have to address the main drivers of muscle hypertrophy to see how we can optimally progress our weak points. We know the top three drivers for muscle hypertrophy are mechanical tension, muscle damage, and metabolic stress, which leads me into tip number one, proportionally increase volume on your weak points. Where we know mechanical tension is the main mechanism, we can take advantage of this and program accordingly and mainly focus on volume. There's different ways to do this, but the easiest way is to add more sets, reps, and or exercises per day. Of course, there's going to be a limit to this per day since you can only recover from so much volume. So I recommend you start low and slowly amp it up to whatever you can personally handle. 
since you're more focusing on a specific body part, don't try to make up for it by adding more sets with other body parts. Proportionally, you'll want more volume for that weak point versus other body parts, where this is a common mistake in programming, and if you do this, you'll be creating a more balanced program versus being able to specialize. This leads me into the next tip, tip number two, increase training frequency. The easiest way to do this is to hit that specific weak point more times throughout the week. You'll be able to accumulate more volume over time if you hit that specific body part more than once a week, and you'll be able to perform better as well if you were to split the days where at the latter end of a single workout per week, you'll be more fatigued. If you do decide to increase frequency, realize you can't go balls to the wall every session or you won't be able to recover. It's a good idea to split it into heavy days, moderate days, and light days, and also regulate the amount you reach failure. There's no point to put in work if you can't recover, and that's when the muscle grows, not when you're in the gym damaging it. Lastly, protein muscle synthesis will only last up to three days and closer to only one day in more advanced athletes. By hitting your weak point more times throughout the week, you'll cause that muscle to be in a more anabolic growing state than if you were to hit it once per week, allowing more time to grow throughout the week. Tip number three, aim to progressively overload with structure. Volume alone isn't enough to induce muscle hypertrophy where you can't do a million bicep curls with a five pound weight. You'll need to progress mainly in the hypertrophy based ranges, which are eight to 12, although strength ranges between 12 to seven and metabolite based ranges between 12 and 20 do have their place. There are other factors that need to be implemented. Week to week, you do want to see a progression where you can either add more reps with the same weight and or increase the weight at a specific rep range. This will allow for micro-increased amounts of volume week to week, allowing you to progressively overload. You're creating a new stimulus with more volume and more tension on the muscle week to week. To fully take advantage of this, you need to structure. You need to track your load you're using at the given rep ranges and track your progression. You want to see how you perform week to week and trying to improve week to week as well. Having these numbers will be a target on what you need to do to be better. If you want to get more advanced, you can fully periodize your training and implement specific progression schemes. I can expand on this in a future video, but it will improve strength if you can implement periodization. Tip number four, focus on exercise execution. You can have the best program in the world, but if you don't follow it properly, the results won't come. Be sure to leave your ego at the door and use good form with the weight you can control to ensure you're optimally activating the targeted muscle. Having a good mind-muscle connection can create better activation. Be in the moment mentally and focus on the exercise and muscle group you're working with versus just focusing on moving the weight up and down. To further allow better form and better activation, lower the load if needed, slow the tempo to ensure constant tension on the muscle, and in practice, I find this to help better isolate the targeted muscle group and especially on compound movements to avoid activation on other body parts. I feel like there's merit to actually feeling the burn and knowing that specific muscle you want to work is actually working. So in conclusion, Overall, you want to proportionally increase the volume on your weak points, increase the training frequency, which also helps increase volume over time, aim to progressively overload and using structure will help, and focus on the execution of each exercise and making sure you're performing everything properly. These tips will help bring those weak points up and with consistency and an open mind, try new things to see what works best for your body. Lastly, if you want to run this lean bulk with me and smash my men's physique chest specialization phase, you have the option to download it for free in the link in the description. So I guess that's it for the voiceover. Please give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not part of the team as I do have more informative content coming like this in the future. And comment your favorite training principle in the comment section below as it could help someone else bring up their weak points. Other than that, sit back, relax, and enjoy the rest of the vlog. All right, family, I hope you enjoyed that segment there. Let me know in the comment section below. Give it a like if you liked it. And uh, I just want to say this progression is specifically made for me personally because those are my personal weak points. So I think I am going to make a progression 
maybe down in the line in the future where I'm going to do a men's physique specialization program with substitutes to help progress certain weak points. So there's going to be different options like maybe if you need to work on your back or your shoulders or your chest, that type of thing. Let me know if that's something you're interested in. But for now, if you guys want to follow the plan that I'm doing, all you have to do is go in the link in the description. You guys can download it there for free. You guys can do it with me. And uh, 2020, we're going to bring it. So I'm going to smash this protein shake, but go back to work. And I'll see you guys in the next one.